Welcome to The Backlash at Backlash.com. My name is Rod Van Mecklen, and in this video I'm going to read excerpts from my 2012 article, Forever Dumb. The full article is linked below. 2012, Olympia, Washington. One of the dominant strains of feminist literature claims it's the right of women to be stupid without suffering any consequences. That makes no sense, but there's a reason why they make such idiotic claims. They do it to keep us dazed and confused. On health, for example, they claim women don't get enough attention. It's well known that women make greater use of medical services throughout their life, while men wait until age and ailments force them to see the doctor. It's well known that men die younger than women. It's well known that the lion's share of medical care is dedicated to the lioness. But still, say the feminist, it's not enough. While they wail about this, others cry about the oppression of women that would hinder them from doing stupid things. Men, they say, walk without fear in dark, dangerous places, so why shouldn't women? But men are stupid. Not all men, just those who do dumb things, like brawling in bars and staggering drunk and loud down dark streets. Stupid men get hurt, injured, robbed, sick, and sometimes killed. But they seldom suffer assault of the sexual kind. Those are generally reserved for women. Sexual assault, we might think, includes things like rape, attempted rape, grabbing, groping, that sort of a thing. And it does, but feminists have expanded it beyond all of that, of course, to include objectification. We're not supposed to look unless they want us to. We're not supposed to admire a woman unless she wants us to. And if she is fat, obese, or otherwise wretchedly overweight, well, that just means she's a BBW. Because fat is a feminist issue. That's the title of a second-wave feminist book that claims women should proudly be obese. You can't make this stuff up. It's sexist to be concerned. We warn women about that. We warn women about the stupid men who do stupid things. We warn women to stay away. Don't drink until you barf. Don't eat the slop marked as fast foods that no self-respecting hog would indulge. For our concern, we're called sexist. Feminists fulminate that it's a woman's right to walk drunk and naked down the middle of the road in the middle of the night or sober and silly in broad daylight doing whatever she damn well pleases wherever and whenever she wants. It's a woman's right to load on the layers of lard and to be loved and worshipped as a goddess, or to be left alone. And it's a woman's right to be safe while doing it all, too. So the feminists say, We wouldn't care about the stupid things, feminists say, but for the fact that politicians pay attention to them. They pay attention because millions of single women vote how the feminist fulminators tell them to. And their message resonates like a siren song. Women are not to be held accountable for their actions. They're not to suffer the consequences of their behavior. And it's men's responsibility to deliver a universe full of fun without risks. No rational person would ever go along with that. It makes no sense. If you fling yourself from the roof of a tower without any means of support, you should expect to die. Yet, we would not be surprised were feminists to blame men for the law of gravity and to demand that men make it safe for them to do something that stupid. The, feminist fam the fantasy feminist cell is like the story of Peter Pan flying around Neverland having great adventures, never getting hurt or injured, or suffering death. Feminists, the smart ones anyway, know this. They know it can't be done, but they demand it anyway. Not that they really expect us to deliver, but to incite the political class to oppress us with stupid laws that defy nature. If we're oppressed, then we can't stand in their way. But there are a lot of stupid feminists, not quite bright loudmouths, who think all of this is for real. These are the women and men who rally around the banner of creating a world of zero consequences for women. Not all women, though. Just the ones who think like they do. If a woman is an independent thinker who sees through, through their lies, then she is reviled as a member of the oppressor class too. And like all members of that hated class, she must be oppressed. To save women from oppression, of course. It doesn't have to make sense, it just has to keep us dazed and confused. That's all for now. Check out the other videos, subscribe to the channel. For the Backlash at Backlash.com, my name is Rod Van Mecklen.